so children now we will learn how to solve the equation by systematic method okay trial and error method you have already learned now the second method of solving an equation is systematic method now before we start with the systematic method let us understand one very important concept of equation that is balancing an equation now see as such normal balance you all have seen a normal balance which is used by the vegetable vendors and all it has two pens okay and what does that person does in one pen the weights are kept and accordingly the item whatever is to be balanced is kept okay and we put the things in such a way that both the pens becomes balanced okay now in equation in simple equation how to do the balancing see suppose we have an equation x plus 3 is equal to 10 okay so what we will do right now this equation is balanced okay it means that the left hand side value that is x plus 3 and the right hand side value 10 both are equal okay so suppose in this pen we put lhs and in this pen we put rhs then if i put here x plus 3 and in this pen if i put 10 then our balance is going to remain balanced okay because both are equal now suppose i add 3 in this then to keep it balanced what i have to do i have to add the same amount here also okay in that case what will be our equation x plus 6 3 plus 3 is 6 is equal to 10 plus 3 13 so this is also an balanced equation similarly children to keep this equation balanced what we can do we may subtract some number uh, like here we have got this equation now suppose i subtract minus 6 from both side then x plus 6 minus 6 means x plus 0 and 13 minus 6 means 7 this is also a balanced equation or we can say it is x plus 0 means x x is equals to 7 okay so what is the concept of balancing equation is that if we add or subtract or multiply or divide the number in left hand side then by same number we have to do in the right hand side also we have to use the same number and the same operation now for example if i take another example let us take the equation uh, 2x okay and is equal to 8 right now this equation is balanced okay the value of 2x is equal to 8 now if i divide this equation by 4 then to keep it balanced i have to divide this side also by 4 okay then 2x by 4 or will be equals to 8 divided by 4 is okay similarly if i take the same equation 2x is equals to 8 and i divide by 2 both side then what it will become x is equals to 4 so here this x is equals to 4 is also an balanced equation similarly if i take again 2x is equals to 8 okay this is our initial balanced equation and now if i multiply both side by some number maybe 5 and 8 into 5 then 2 into 5 become 10x and 8 into 5 is equal to 40 this is also a balanced equation so to keep an equation balanced what we need to do we need to multiply or divide or add or subtract in both side by same number whatever operation we perform in left hand side same operation we need to apply on right hand side also then the equation remains balanced okay now see systematic method is solving an equation by applying this concept of balancing only now i'll take some more examples now suppose the equation given to us is x plus 7 is equals to uh, maybe 
okay now i need to find the solution of this equation and if i have to solve this equation by systematic method then for this systematic method we will use the concept of balancing an equation okay now here if i want to find the solution of this equation it means i need to find the value of x okay so what we will do we will operate okay we will perform such an operation so that in left hand side only x will remain okay and in right hand side only constant in one side only variable and in other side only constant so now at present you can see that in left hand side we have variable and constant both and in right hand side only constant is there so right hand side has no issues there we want constant and we have all already constant but in left hand side we have variable and constant both so i need to remove this 7 okay so that only x is left now how can we remove this 7 x plus 7 now i have to perform such an operation so that this plus 7 value becomes 0 so for that what can we do i can just use the opposite operation x plus 7 so opposite of plus 7 is minus 7 now to keep the equation balanced if i am doing minus 7 in left hand side i have to do minus 7 in right hand side also okay so now x 7 plus 7 minus 7 becomes 0 and this is equal to 12 minus 7 5 so x is equals to 5 this becomes the solution of this equation okay so what we have done we have just performed the opposite operation so that the constant gets removed and only the variable is left in left hand side and in right hand side also accordingly we will do the operation if we have done minus 7 here to keep it balanced minus 7 has to be done here also 12 minus 7 becomes 5 so now this is the solution now similarly let us have a look at another equation suppose we have y minus 8 is equals to uh, let us take 9 okay i am just taking one random example now for y minus 8 is equals to 9 again i need to remove this 8 okay now this 8 is getting subtracted from y so to make this minus 8 0 what can i do i can add 8 okay so minus 8 plus 8 becomes 0 and now to keep the equation balanced if i am adding 8 in left hand side i have to add 8 in right hand side also so this minus 8 plus 8 becomes 0 so it will be only y and 9 plus 8 is equals to 17 this is the solution of this equation okay now uh, one more example i will take uh, suppose we have 3x is equals to let us take 21 okay now again we need to find the value of x this is first example this is second this is third now again to find the value of x now i have to do the opposite operation of 3 this 3 has to be removed okay now see i cannot make this 3 0 because 3 is multiplied by x if the number is added or subtracted we can make it 0 but if the number is multiplied or divided we cannot make it 0 what we can do we can make it 1 now we have to divide this 3 by some number so that this value of 3 becomes 1 so what is that number 3 divided by 3 is 1 so we will divide by 3 in right hand side also now 3 divided by 3 is 1 so in left hand side only x will left and 21 divided by 3 becomes 7 so x is equals to 7 is the solution and now one more example suppose you have p divided by 8 is equals to 3 now to find the value of p i have to remove this 8 now 8 is dividing p so to find the solution what we can do we can multiply by 8 both side okay just opposite operation so 8 and 8 get cancel only p is left and 3 eights are 24 so this p is equals to 24 becomes the solution of this equation so children i hope you understood 
to solve the equation by systematic method it is very simple we will just perform the opposite operation if the number is added you have to subtract same number if the number is subtracted we will add the same number if it is multiplied by the variable we will divide by the same number and if the number is dividing the variable we will multiply by the same variable and this operation has to be done on both side to keep the equation balanced.